Hey, this is the Blaring Out with Eric Blair Show, and tonight we're here at the premiere for CBGB's, a movie about Hilly Crystal and the famous Bowery Club that gave birth to punk rock. You play one of the most important Ramones of all, and I don't want to get in trouble by saying that, but Johnny Ramone, downstrokes. Absolutely, nothing but. And and I mean, let's say, let's face it, that influenced Metallica, that influenced a that lot influenced of metal. everybody. You got it. So tell me, what? how important was this to you? Oh, it was so important. I mean, you know, when you're a teenager and you first hear the Ramones, they instantly become a part of your life. They get you through a lot of crap. Uh, and then they're kind of a steady presence as your, you know, your music tastes expand from there they're everybody's staple you know whether like you mentioned Metallica it doesn't matter they're everybody's go-to staple and then you know you lose a ton of weight you learn how to play guitar and you read everything you can get your eyeballs on and watch you know uh, any video of them and thankfully since you're right he is the most important Ramon of all uh, he was very very specific at what he wanted to do on stage and what he wanted everybody else to do on stage I mean the man yeah, uh, and uh, so that was that was a great great pleasure uh, to get to know him in in that way. And then you know the guys as a cast, we just had a blast, man. How could you not? Well, tell me about what what you discovered about Johnny's personality in here. The heart of Johnny Ramone. The heart of Johnny Ramone was never let up, never, ever, ever say die. That was, I think, one of his strongest, strongest suits. And he was just this, you know, a lot of people had this kind of harsh uh, understanding of him from the outside. I don't think he was necessarily like that. I mean, I think he wanted things the way he wanted. He wanted the Ramones to succeed by any means necessary. But the first person to show up and work his ass off was Johnny. You know, he wasn't willing to ask anybody to do anything that he wasn't the first one to do. So I really admired that. If, if it wasn't for him, those other guys would not have worked. You know, he was the glue of the band no matter what. It didn't matter who quit, didn't matter who left, came back. He was just, okay, we're exactly. going to rock and roll. It doesn't matter. Uh, and, uh, and I think later on in their career, especially... You know, I'm Puerto Rican. I was born and raised there. And, you know, when I watched the impact that they had on Latin America, you know, I mean, to oh, us, the Ramones was just like, huge. so, so that was just another piece of it. And I know what it did. It kind of, it gave the Ramones another life Latin America did really. And so that was a huge part of it for me personally. So. And then what's your favorite Ramones song? Oh, I don't probably 53rd and 3rd. So what's next for you? Ah, uh, what's next? I just wrapped on a film called The Atticus Institute. But the producers did The Conjuring. Uh, just finished uh, Secret Life of the American Teenager, the final season. Do you think anybody's learned anything from this show? Oh, I think so. I think they've learned a lot. I think they've learned what to do, what not to do, how to communicate about it, how not to hide. Um, and I think generationally it's interesting because uh, you know social media, obviously, as we all know, has changed everything. And I think teenagers communicate, although differently, a lot more than previous generations and I think this show was really smart in the way that it got the teenagers talking about very 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 real things that are going on in their lives from their perspective the blaring out show